Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Are you ready for the event? Yeah, this is Houston. I'm ready for the event. JAXA PAO, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call Station for a voice check. Station, this is JAXA PAO. How do you hear me? Hiraide san, hear you loud and clear. Konbanwa. Hello. Uh, thank you very much for today. Uh, now I'm, I'm going to change to Yanagida san. Now we are connected to Naguti san, so let's call him Naguti san in ISS International Space Station. Hello. Hi. Uh, this is Naguti from International Space Station. Hello, Naguti san. Oh, sorry, I was upside down. Now he's turning. So he appeared from the top. So Noguchi san is now at the GEM uh, keyboard, the Japan experiment module. So I am going around the, uh, the 90 minutes, the International Space Station. So we are in Kibo. I'm talking, talking to you from Japan Experiment Module. Thank you very much, Noguchi-san. So this is a six-month mission challenge, and many people are challenging, and uh, many people have uh, uh, contributed to this event, and uh, you also declared three challenges. Do you remember them? So you exercise every day, and not to drink, and no smartphone. Nakuchi-san, how is the situation on your side? So far, I'm successful 100%. Uh, first of all, exercise. Yes, I'm exercising every day for two hours. So actually, I didn't need to declare because we have to exercise every day. And the second one, not to drink. And, uh, Probably Yui, astronaut. This is impossible challenge on Earth. However, when we are on International Space Station, we don't have any alcohol here, so I can. I am successful. And the third one is smartphone, and uh, we tend to be on internet uh, very often. And of course, for International Space Station, we cannot bring our. Uh, mobile, but uh, sometimes, and uh, for technical issues, uh, we may not be connected on the internet. So naturally, we are shifting our lifetime. So in that sense, I'm successful 100% for those uh, missions. So you are successful because you are in the space, I'm, I think. So, so far, you are doing all those three exercise every day, not to drink and no smartphone. So that's great. And it's really nice to see you so healthy, and I can hear your voice. That sounds very good. So I, we are really happy to see that and hear that. So uh, now we are going to take uh, questions from the participants to the uh, six uh, months challenge. So let's get started. Uh, first, uh, Hirai-san. I am Yamato Hirai, uh, coming from Tokyo, uh, nine years old. My challenge has been baseball. I really like the feeling hitting the ball just right, or when I'm able to throw where I am at or when I'm uh, able to do something after a lot of practice. So my question is, what made you decide you wanted to become an astronaut? And what do you think is important in order to fulfill your goals or dreams? So thank you for this opportunity. 
、えー、平井君、質問、本当にありがとう、の野球のね、あの素晴らしいスイングしてる姿、はい、平井君、Thank you very much for your question。Yes,、uh, I saw your video of a great swing. Yes, baseball is great. I brought this ball, and、uh, unfortunately, this is not the real baseball ball, but I can throw very fast because、uh, although it looks very slow, but the、uh, International Space Station goes about、uh, 25,000 kilo per hour, so it's very fast. So, can you receive my ball? So,、uh, regarding your question,、uh, why I wanted to be an astronaut? Well, when I was at your age, I、uh, read a manga of space or a TV program, and then I wanted to、uh, go to space. And in order to realize that goal, I had to work for a very long time. So it's very important to continue and pursue that dream for a very long time. So, Hirayu san, Hirai kun, so do your best in your baseball and also study. I wish you good luck. I am from Yamanashi,、uh, Kosei Nagasawa, 17 years old. I've been studying very hard every day because I have entrance exam for college coming up next year. This is my question.、Uh, I, I read this、uh, book,、uh, Come to the Space. I have been、uh, longing to. Uh, be with you, Mr.、Uh, Noguchi, but、uh, my dream is to be an astronaut like yourself. And my question is that uh, uh, what is、uh, the thing that I have to do as a high school student in order to become an astronaut? And I hope you good luck for the rest of your mission. And、uh, I would like to have a strong resilience in order to、uh, be successful for、uh, entrance exam. Thank you very much, Nagasawa Kun. So, you are going to have strong resilience.、Uh, thank you very much for noticing、uh, the name of our. Spacecraft, and thank you for buying the book as well. So, high school students, I believe, are working very hard because you have to take tests, and、uh, I want you to work very hard to be an astronaut. But at the same time, I think it's important to set a goal that is close to you and then be successful for those each individual goal. So,、uh, first, I hope that、uh, you will be successful for entrance exam. And also, having good English skill would be very、uh, helpful to work in this kind of environment. I am Nemoto Umemoto from Aichi. I'm a sixth grader. And I have a dream of becoming an astronaut and living on the moon. I'm、uh, working very hard、uh, to be successful. And、uh, I have、uh, something that I want to challenge. And、uh, I also want to be successful for various、uh, tests. And also, I would like to be able to uh, move uh, drones and robots by programming. And I would like to be an astronaut、uh, not like yourself so that you can go to、uh, the space many times. And also, I would like to make a house in a Moon, and so my dream is going to the moon and、uh, make a vertical whole house so that g i v e the、uh, environment for people to live. So, my question is regarding p l a n t、uh, to be on the plant and the vitality of the plants, and are they going to be as nutritious as、uh, they are grown on the earth? And also, would you be able to grow、uh, plants on the moon as they do? As we do on、uh, Earth. Umemoto san,、uh, thank you very much for that question. And、uh, you are sixth graders, understand that、uh, you、uh, sound like an expert on the space already、uh, with、uh, using both、uh, the very difficult、uh, terms. So, what's the speed of growing p l a n t in space? But actually, we are an experiment of growing a p l a n t on the International Space Station. Actually, there are several experiments. So, 
How much plant can grow in one night? And uh, we have a camera catching the growth of plant. So the one night growth is now shot as a 30 seconds. And actually, I, I just uploaded that uh, video on YouTube. So please have a look later on. It's uh, really surprising how much they can grow. You also mentioned drone and also uh, living on the uh, moon. And the type of experiment that we are doing here uh, would be successful for us to go to the moon and also if further into the space. So those would be a very basic uh, science that would be helpful in the future. So when you become an adult, and I hope that you will be able to be very active uh, in moon, I wish you good luck. I'm Kento Nakamura, 17 years old, and Fukuoka. And uh, my dream is to, uh, my goal is to pass the level two astronaut uh, test and also strengthen the foundation of next year's exam and to be able to run 30 kilometers. So those are the three goals. My question. So what was it like when you performed an extra vehicle activity for the first time? Uh, Nakamura-kun, thank you very much for your question. So you are uh, 11 graders. It looks like a very small sporty uh, person. And uh, Omen Marathon, that's also 30 kilometers. I have run that uh, several times, actually. So regarding the question at EVA, just yesterday, uh, two NASA astronauts did go into extravehicular activity. At the time, uh, I supported their activity, like helping them with the extravehicular unit and also storing uh, the equipment in the ISS and even, uh, in one month or so, I'm sure I'm going to go out in my EVA. So regarding my first EVA, it's already about 15 years ago, uh, but when I opened the hat and the moment I went out into the space, it's just the space. There's nothing in the space, and then I saw the beautiful, beautiful Earth that was full of vitality of life. That was what I felt when I went out in the EVA for the first time. So I believe that you're studying very hard for your entrance exam. I wish you good luck. I'm Ayane Kinoda, 18 years old. And coming from Miyazaki, and I want to be an astronaut in the future. And I have entrance exam coming up now. Uh, my question is that uh, I heard that uh, when you were asked, human going to the space is not just about going to a distant planet but rather it makes it possible uh, to solve issues on that from a different a new perspective. And that is the real reason why we want to go to the space. And now, having actually traveled to the space and you, now that you have a new perspective, what have you noticed? What have you gained? Hi, Kinoda-san. Thank you very much for the question. You are 18 years old. You are the oldest among those uh, five people. Uh, that's very philosoph philosophical. Very good question. Thank you for that. So when you go to the space, and of course, uh, we are doing various scientific experiments. That's our work. But it's not just about the utilization of the space and not just as a work, but when, what kind of difference can we make by human being go out of the space? Uh, we are going around the Earth, but when we go farther into the space, how human can make, uh, what kind of uh, evolution or development with human have when we go into the deeper space? And uh, just as you said, uh, in order to solve issues on the ground, uh, finding a new perspective, seeing from the space, so that you have solution from another perspective and make a different suggestion or different tile, uh, that's going to be very important. But um, going into the space, 
Thank you to all the participants from JAXA. Station, we are now resuming operational audio communications.